What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sit Down. I'm DJ Sixsmith, hanging out with the champ, number one in the world, Joey Jaws Chestnut. Good to be here. What's up, man? How are you? I'm living the dream. I love it. So I just watched The Good, The Bad, and The Hungry, and it was uh, quite a roller coaster ride. It's a, uh, it's weird. It's a, uh, it, it, it's kind of it. A lot of people are going to get uh, introduced to the crazy world of competitive eating. <laughs> it really is a crazy world. And we were just chatting off camera. Like, you showed a lot more about how you prepare than you ever have. And competitive eaters are really secretive about this. So what was the most difficult part of, like, laying all this out oh, there for just, everybody? Uh, well, just the training. Because it, it's, uh, like, just showing how I exercise my jaw and the, the burping exercises. <laughs> the weird, this weird stuff that you don't, it's like. Well, first, I, I put some thought process into it, so I don't want to just give that away to the right. other competitors. Second, it's like really weird, so <laughs> like I don't know how people are going to judge me. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said in the documentary, like there's no book about how yeah. to train for this, so you're just like moving around your stomach and trying to figure out stuff. I'm trying. I'm, I keep. I kept a journal for a long time, <laughs> and I, it, it's like, oh, all right, this is working. This isn't working. So it's. Uh, and I finally figured out some things that work. So I knew you were a competitive dude, but I think I found out just how much you wanted to take down Kobayashi. So can you just explain to people how determined you were, like to the point where your living room has, uh, basically looks like Coney Island. <laughs> just explain that for everybody. Yeah, it's a, uh, well, that's in my training dungeon, pretty much. <laughs> it's a, uh, I have another living room in the house, but it, yeah, that room in the house is dedicated towards training. It's a, uh, it's for trophies, but it's a, uh, it, it, it's, I have the, my weights and, it's a, a table where I, where, I, where I eat 70, 80 hot dogs at a time. And, <laughs> and you uh, got the flat bush and still all out oh, yeah. there too? Yeah, and it, so it's, uh, it's, it's, and I play, play the previous year's contest while I'm eating, and it's just, it's my training dungeon, and it's, uh, it's intense. Yeah, it's next level stuff. So why don't we wind back a little bit. Take me to life before you become a competitive eater, and oh. what type of guy you were and what you were up to. I was, just doing, I was doing everything right. I was just a shy guy, getting my engineering degree, <laughs> and... Uh, Dude, I grew up in a big family, six, ki six kids, and um, my little brother knew I was the biggest eater in the family, so he signed me up to my first contest. Pretty much made me do it, and I, uh, I fell in love with it right away. I was like, oh my god, I could do this. <laughs> they're paying me to eat, and, and like, they're yelling at me to keep eating when like, it, it was just like the world was on crazy pills. And, I, uh, and two weeks later, I won, my, won, won the next contest and uh, just became the goal. I was like, all right, if I'm going to do it, I have to, I have to beat Kobayashi. And, and at that time, he, he was unbeatable. Mm. And it was, so it was, it, was a big, uh, it was a big challenge. Definitely. And I thought it was really interesting going back to the old footage of the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, because there's Kobayashi right in the middle, and there you are on the side. And we're oh, not yeah. used to seeing you on the side. So take me back to when you first placed in the top three and how important that was for you. Oh, it was, I was a kid. Yeah. I, I was 21. I got third in my first year out. And... Nobody expected me to even get third, and it was uh, it was it was amazing, and it was like all right, it, it was it was like th this. I found it, 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 it and like I, I I was doing everything right. I was like, getting my engineering degree, and I was working for a construction company in, in management. But I, uh, but dude, it, I never in my life have I, have I found something that's like all right. This is, I'm just blowing people away, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it's just I, I. So I decided to go with it, and I just rode the wave. And asparagus was your thing at first, right? Deep fried asparagus. Wow. In Stockton, California. <laughs> and, and what uh, year was that? That was 2005. Wow. That was my that was my that was my first victory overall. And uh, dude, I remember I, I did like like five and three quarter pounds that year. <laughs> and like eight years later, I did 13 pounds. Oh my gosh. So it, it, this just shows like the, the the level was it was completely changed. And, and, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, and when I did 13 pounds, Matt Stoney was right behind mm. me. So he, he there the the competition, the competitors have gotten a lot better. Yeah, even when Kobayashi's first on the scene, they're like, well, maybe he'll get 30 hot dogs, right? And oh, he's yeah. up at 50, and now you guys are in the 70s? Like, it's, oh, it's wild. It's so how have things progressed so quickly? Well, I think competition brings it out of everybody, whether it's technology or sports or anything. When, when there's competition, there, 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 there's reason for people to get better. And uh, it's, yeah, it, it, it's, it's actually, it's rare when records aren't broken mm. in the sport. Uh, so it's, it's, well, we, we we are getting up to some crazy numbers. Uh, I don't I don't I don't know how much more, but uh, <laughs> if, if uh, somebody gets close to me, I'll, I'll have reason to mm. eat more. I thought it was really interesting. We talked about it off camera. You saw a bear beat Kobayashi, and that was the moment where you're like, "This guy's human." I He's mean, just human. take take me back to that. Well, he can be beaten because like everybody said he couldn't be beaten, and like all right, it, and it, he had a mystique about him. He couldn't speak English. Mm -hmm. he had, people said he had a special stomach, and 
And I was like, all right. And, and then, then he, when he ate against the bear, not only did he, <laughs> it, he lost, but he looked like he was scared. Mm. And, and then when, when you, when it was like, all right, he has fear. He can be beaten. And uh, he, he's, uh, so, and that was, it was part of me just convincing myself yeah. I could beat him or he could be beaten. So uh, I think that that's, that's a big part of it is, is just believing in yourself and, and, and uh, I had to find a way to, ble- <laughs> it, to convince myself I, I could beat him. And, and uh, I did. So when you did finally beat him, I mean, a historic oh. win for you. Just just take me back to what you still remember about that feeling. Oh, it's just it's. I think it's the only time in my life where I did something that that a big majority of the people around thought it was impossible. <laughs> they they thought I couldn't do. Like the other competitive eaters, they thought it was impossible to beat him. And uh, it was that, that that's a weird feeling doing mm-hmm. something. I mean, all your life you're you try to surround yourself with people that that, that you're gonna that encourage you to do things that are hard. And they, it it was. Even be even people who clo- were close to me, they thought he could, he was unbeatable. So it was it was a weird, that was just an amazing feeling. Uh, and it, it's un- it's uh, I don't think I'll ever uh, match that. Yeah, it's pretty wild. The whole draw draw arthritis situation. Arthritis. Oh my god. <laughs> Which I'm sure it was. He, he, well, he, he, uh, you know what? I I gotta give it to him. If if I if I if I knew somebody was coming at me. Uh, I, I would come up with every excuse <laughs> in the book. <laughs> I, I'm sure it was pretty wild for you to just hear his whole side of things because obviously you knew bits and pieces, yeah. but what, what spoke to you the most about who that guy is and what he was going through when you started to beat him? The, uh, his dispute with Major League Gaming, I, I didn't know all the ins and outs mm. of it. And, and I, I still don't think we everybody knows, yeah. but uh, it just I, I thought he was just looking for a way not to lose. And that, that was me being just the ultra kind of mean competitor. Right. Like, oh, he he he's, he just doesn't want to lose, so he's gonna he wants to find an excuse. But and the older I've gotten, I've, I've learned that that their contract was really really uh, restricted. Hmm. A little and, more empathy for him. And yeah, I have a little bit more empathy, and 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 I was able to change my contract because he eventually left. Oh like, wow. And then, so there there's there's things that like he he was he was right about. Uh, the contract needed to change, and, and and he did he go about it the right way? I he at the time he probably thought it was right, but if he would, he maybe we could have worked together, and yeah. may, maybe, maybe there was a chance that we could have continued to compete against each other, and uh, and change the contract for both of us. Yeah, and benefit it, everybody. It, it, it was so. I, I yeah, it, life's a weird thing, yeah, and it uh, is. I'm, I'm not. It, it, I, I try to improve and I try not to judge people. Yeah, listen, he put the sport on the map. You kind of took it to the next level and yeah. you and the rest of the guys transformed it. And, you know, it's not what it is without him, but at the same time, you coming in, beating him, then the next year you have the hot dog eat off where you just put your hand off because <laughs> you, you just thought, I'm done. I have it because it was clear it and then it's in my mouth. I'm going to just be the champ. I'm going to be the champ. <laughs> Might as well. And then, then, well, he never finished his hot dogs that right. also. So it, I, I, I figure I'm going to put my hand up as fast as possible anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a sell job. you got to make you gotta, sure you, you get gotta it done. you got to yeah. sell it. And uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't sell it very well. No, definitely <laughs> it, not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys battled not only there, but just all over the Everywhere. country. Yeah, it was we, all these different events. Oh, there's Crystal Hamburgers in Chattanooga. Uh, he kicked my butt in the Bratwurst Eating Contest mm. in, in Wisconsin. It, it, I, I, I had to beat him in Singapore one year. Oh, it, wow. It, yeah, so we, we traveled. We I mean, we had a great rivalry going. Yeah, and it was how long would you say? It was like two, three, four years. Oh, we. Uh, I think our. It was about four years. Four years. Those first four years. Yeah, it was. It was intense. And yeah. what? What do you think made him such a great competitor for you in terms of you had that rival, but like all those other events too? Because like everybody focuses on Nathan's, but like you guys would go back and forth. You'd yeah. win some. He'd win some. So, what made the rivalry so great I, in your I eyes? Think it was just he was so he was a serious competitor, and there, the, he, was, he wasn't doing it for fun. He wasn't doing it for attention. Mm-hmm. I mean, you see a lot of competitive eaters; they uh, they do it as a hobby, right, uh, to get away from their day job. Right. Or no, he wanted to win, uh, yeah. and he, he wanted, and it hurt him to lose. Mm-hmm. I, I want to beat somebody that that wants to win. Yeah. It, 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 not somebody who's going to lay down for me. Definitely. And uh, I think that it, and I think he he appreciated that in me that he knew that I'm I'm. I'm really, really trying to beat him. Yeah, you guys were gamers. Yeah. So you've had a lot of wins. L- let's talk about Wing Bowl for a second because oh you won God. there a couple times. What did you love the most about that competition and what do you still remember? It was just, it was anarchy. It was, it was debauchery. <laughs> I, have you ever been there? No, you, I've never been. Well, it was, 
It was weird. It, it, so the bars closed down on Thursday night, and then, or, or I guess Friday morning, it's, and then people start tailgating, and, and then the, they start letting people in, I think, at five in the morning. Wow. At, at this event. And it starts at, at seven. And they sell more beer at that event than any other, <laughs> than, than any other thing in Philadelphia, because it's a basketball, it's 76ers, mm -hmm. uh, where the 76ers play. And uh, it, it, it was, it's amazing. It, it's just, it's just weird. It, like these guys from, from age 17 to you know, like 65, just <laughs> it, obliterated, and uh, just, just yelling at you to eat wings, and and it, it, it's a weird, it's a weird feeling. And then I'm from out of town, mm -hmm. so and it's Philadelphia. So there are bottles being thrown at me. And oh, Philly fans are a whole oh, different they, they, level. They're, they're terrible. <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, that they, they know they're terrible. Right. <laughs> not, not in a terrible way, but like they're, like, they're, they're, just, they're, gonna, they're gonna let you know that you, they don't want you there. That's an and event uh, unlike any other, right? Yeah, they don't have it anymore. Yeah, I, I know. think that they finally decided this, it wasn't good for the city. Well, also the Eagles <laughs> finally won a Super Bowl, oh, yeah, too. They, 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 that's a big part of it. So you got your three wins. You're good to go. I got the three wins, and then uh, then they want yeah they then let me back for a while, and then I was like, all right, well. When was the last time you were back in Philly? Oh my god, I, I actually I, I did a donut contest last year. Oh okay. It was and fun. how how were the people there? They were really nice. They were me. cool. They were nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I was a, I, it was a wing bowl, but uh, it, people. No, nah, not all Philly fans are bad, but Wing Bowl it, it brought out the it brought out the rough the ones. The worst, I gotcha. So, what are some of the craziest things you've eaten in competition? Oh my God, some weird ones. I uh, did cow brain tacos. Oh man! And I, I, I always said I wouldn't do weird stuff like that, but it sounded like it was at a zombie pub crawl. <laughs> and I was like, all right, it sounds like a party to me. <laughs> and they they did a good job at cooking them, uh, but they still looked funny. They looked like brains. Oh my gosh. And, uh, yeah, I was just pretty much watching the guy next to me, Matt Stoney, and I was just trying to stay one ahead. I wasn't going to eat any more than I had to, mm. but I, I got the win. Because I had that early Kobayashi clip of him doing the cow brains, too, oh, yeah. he and did that cow. was wild. Oh, they were gross. He was like, it smelled so bad, I had to stop breathing oh, from my oh, nose. Oh, God. <laughs> that glutton bowl. Yeah. I heard stories like the food that they had served at that thing was ridiculously bad. Insane. Like, they had a sushi roll that was 10 feet long, and oh my it, it was straight wasabi in it. <laughs> So you've had this incredible career. You're determined. You're training, and then you lose a couple years ago. Oh, thanks. I had to bring it up, man. Come on, you've had so many great moments. I, they, I need even, to, they didn't even bring that up in the documentary. Well, guess what? I'm going to bring it up because I want to know more. The documentary. There's so much great stuff, but you're a competitor. You lose. How do you come back and reclaim glory? Well, I, uh, I don't know. I went to Thailand, had some magic mushroom smoothies, and sat on the beach and came up with a plan. Well, there you go. No, I, uh, I, I, I. Uh, it, it, after losing, I, I really did take some time, and uh, I really thought, like, what, what, do I, do I want to do this? And I said, yeah. And so I lost some weight, and I figured out my body, and I get, found my happy place, and I, uh, yeah, it, it, it really was just, and I, and I, and I went back to my, uh, looking at how I worked, mm. and how I trained, and uh, I found out, uh, I, I, when I was younger, I, I used to. I used to keep the, the food journal all the time, mm -hmm. and so I went back to that, and she came out with some new methods, and some more methods, some of the things that are shown in the, in the documentary about training my jaw and my throat, so I get my speed back. And I, uh, the next year, I ended up dominating. I, I, I want to say, I don't know, I, I killed Matt Stoney. <laughs> he bounced right back. Yeah, yeah it wasn't too right close. Back. It wasn't close. Yeah, you're pretty he, pissed he, after that. Oh yeah, he knew he knew I wasn't gonna. <laughs> he lose knew again. you were coming. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, it, I, I really, I put the work in, mm. and, I, and I'm not happy I lost in 2015. It was a long time coming. I had some personal things. I had broken off mm -hmm. engagement, and uh, but it was complacent. It, I, I'd, I'd been, I'd been getting away with not. I, I hadn't made a new record in years. Yeah, you so were just maintaining your love. I was maintaining. I was, I was, I was, I was getting complacent. Right. And uh, I, I probably in the long run, it was probably good for me that I lost and. Since then, I think I've made a new record every year. Yeah, I agree. It's been good and, for you. Uh, and I, I, I'm happier. Yeah, definitely. So how does somebody like you go about losing weight? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, the, what my grandpa used to say, just stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm really good at stopping eating, and I, I fast, and I, I, I diet really well. Mm. Uh, but it, just because I know that when I start gaining weight, I start losing. Right. And so that, that's my biggest motivator is I hate losing. <laughs> and so... and. 
And I, I, I get carried away. It, 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 if I do contests every weekend for a, for a month, and and I, I and the, the after the contest I eat unhealthy, I'm gonna gain like 30 pounds in that month. Wow. And, and it's terrible. There's nothing if I go party after, and it, it's just terrible. What's the most you've gained in a month? Uh, it's like been like, I wanna say 35 pounds. <laughs> and that, it, it's real weight, it's not just bloated from No, that's, from salt. that's the real deal. It's the real, it, oh my gosh. it's like like stretch marks. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I should admit to that, but it's- yeah, uh, you're just being honest, it's, it's part but of it, the game. But when I was younger, I could lose the weight really easily. Right, you know? it's a little bit now, different now I'm, now I'm older, so I, I don't let that happen. Yeah. It's, uh, when I gain that weight, it's 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 on for more than it, it it's stuck on me for a while. I feel you. So here at CBS, you did the Amazing Race. What was the best yeah. part of that experience? The best part? Yeah. Uh, the hardest part? We can go with that know, too. The best part? What did I do? Uh, the hardest part was all the damn running. <laughs> you know, so much running. It's not really your it game. Ma right? It made me realize that I need to run more. <laughs> uh, it, it, was, it was it was it was the whole thing was crazy. It was it was so weird having. Knowing that everything you're saying uh, is being recorded, mm. and you have a sound guy and a camera guy just watching you, and you're like, "Oh damn!" <laughs> I, I'm, I, 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 they just watch me pick my nose. Oh. <laughs> um, but what the, the fun stuff? It was oh, going to Morocco. I would never would have gone to Morocco yeah. and and done some of the stuff there, or gone sailing, or really tried to sail. I did I did that, but uh, so th there were there were some awesome things that. I never would have tried, and it, it really, I got a chance to do them. That's awesome. So, how long do you see yourself doing this whole thing? I don't know. I, uh, oh, we'll have you see. thought about it? Well, I, I'm happy and healthy. Uh, so, I, I don't have to go back into engineering yet, yet but. Uh, do you have that? That's a good fallback. It's a fallback. I think I, you're doing just I, fine I, now. I'm all right, but I'm, yeah, we'll see where, where it takes me. I don't, I don't know where it'll go, but. Uh, I, I don't see me stopping uh, anytime soon. Even if I end up losing, <laughs> I'm gonna come back stronger, and uh, I, I'm having fun. Good deal. So why don't you tell everybody when they can check out the documentary? Uh, you can check out the good, the bad, and the hungry. Uh, I think July second it airs on ESPN two or I forget which, where it is, but it'll, it'll, it'll start airing. You'll see it out there. Hot yeah. dog eating contest is coming. You'll see these guys. It's a really great documentary. It's a great. It, I'm, I'm pretty happy, and it, I, it's gonna open a lot of people's eyes to the craziness of competitive eating. No doubt. Joey, thanks so much, man. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. We'll see you next time here on The Sit Down.